up people what's up welcome to the session i hope all of you guys are doing good i hope you guys are taking good care of yourselves i know the climate is very bad out there it's getting cold and kind of chilly but please stay safe do not fall sick at this point of time guys 10 more days finally the wait is over your exams are at your doorstep i know you've been waiting for this for probably five six months now you know each and every day has been going on like a super fast train and finally you know that uh you only have a couple of days left and these 10 days are going to go even more faster than the previous days you know theory of relativity so that's exactly what's going to happen as the exams are nearing up it feels like time is going a lot more faster so i'm guessing that all of you guys have uh you know done at at least one uh one complete level of revision and one complete level of preparations as well one layer of preparations one layer of revision is already done but anyways even if you have not done it yet or if you've already done it and you're still looking for a plan to uh, do much better in your boards that is to excel in your boards I'm here for that guys. I'm exactly here to do that. What we're going to do in today's session is we're going to tell you, I'm going to tell you about the best way to utilize the next 10 days for physics. When it comes to physics, how can you utilize the next 10 days to ace your examination? That is exactly what I'm here to talk about. So give me 100% of your attention for the next 10-15 minutes because that 10-15 minutes is going to save a lot of time in the future, the next 10 days, you'll be able to save by utilizing this uh, 15 minutes of your time so that you guys can, you know, give me 100% of your attention and trust me guys, it'll definitely help you with your board preparations, right? So once again, welcome to the session people. I hope that all of you guys are doing good. My name is Anup, by the way, I am Master Teacher of Physics here with Antu and I've been teaching for about five years now. So all these steps that I'm going to tell you about is basically from my experience how to you know prepare better with when it comes to uh when it when it is nearing your examination that's exactly what we are here to talk about and i'm an aerospace engineer by profession and that is pretty much it short and sweet life is what i have right so let's get into the topic right before we get into the topic guys i have a small riddle for you guys all right i want all of you guys to relax for a second there all of you guys who are watching this session right now i want you guys to take a second and relax yourself i know that there's a lot of billion different thoughts running in your head for just one second relax your mind and try and answer this riddle the riddle is this what happened when the dinosaurs used deodorants axe deodorant yes think about it i'll tell you the answer for this the riddle towards the end of the sessions all right okay guys let's talk about physics now let's talk about the term and examination right so you guys are already aware of this physics syllabus is quite simple straightforward you have two chapters that's it light human eye and colorful world light is a humongous chapter no doubt about it but it's still a very 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 easy chapter you just need to understand the concepts and you're good to go human and colorful world though is even more easier because there is no numericals whatsoever and it is just theory nothing else so again if you spend a little bit of time reading your chapters and you have done uh, at least one level of preparations this cha chapter also ought to be very 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 easy right so this is what you have now the question is guys how do i utilize the next 10 days now before that let me tell you one more thing that your examination i'm pretty sure you already know this but just a quick recap uh that your term one examination is going to be only mcqs that is multiple choice questions you have to uh they'll be given they'll give you a question four options you have to choose whichever option you think is right now under these mcqs you'll have three different types you have the general mcqs where, 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 where they might ask you to you know uh they might ask you some definitions uh you know they might give you the definition they might ask you to define it or you know to name it or they might ask you numericals and all of that that would come under general mcqs then you have the case study based questions where you'll have basically one paragraph like it's an unseen passage or comprehension as they call it in english so what you do is that they'll be giving you a paragraph and based on that paragraph you'll be given three to four sub questions and you have to try and answer that so that would be your case study based questions and finally, you have the assertion reasoning type question. So that is very straightforward again. So you'll be given a statement called as the assertion. Then it'll be given another statement called as the reason. First of all, you have to figure out this. It's a two-step uh, question. So first thing you have to do is you have to figure out whether both the statements are true or not. And the second step is to figure out whether the reason is supporting the assertion given or not. So this, these are the type of questions that you can expect in your term one examinations. Right guys, again, I'm going to tell you this, that it's not difficult. It is not going to be difficult. 
all right you just need to calm your brains right now you just need to calm your mind and everything is going to work uh, work out right you just need to calm calm down right now because every one of you guys are prepared it's not that you guys don't know the concept it's not that you have not done the numerical it is just that tension it's just that that pressure that you guys are building that unwanted pressure and that unnecessary pressure that that you're thinking about you know all the things that can go wrong that is what is causing all this all this tension all this confusions so first thing i want to tell you guys is this before i start with the session for today make sure that you practice to stay calm take every time you feel like you're getting tensed or you're feeling a little demotivated please take a deep breath right and take uh, at least do it for for a minute take a deep breath hold it for a couple of seconds for about 2 to 3 seconds and then again let it go and keep doing it at least for a minute or 5 minutes that will help you to calm down your nerves and it's very important guys this is the time that you show what you're made of this is the time where you show how much of you know life how much of uh, things that is going on around you how well you will you be able to handle your life that is something that that can actually uh, that can actually be proved here all those people who doubted you all those people who said you can't do it this is the chance for you to prove them wrong all right guys so again i'm going to tell you this the first thing you need to do is calm yourself down now that that is out of the picture let's get into the last 10 days right how do you utilize those 10 days so what i'm going to do is very simple I'm going to divide these 10 days into 5 five, five days. Again, I'm talking only about physics and nothing else. The first 5 days I would call it as the preparation day and the last 5 days I would call it as the revision days because it's very important that you revise, right? So the first 5 preparation day, how do you utilize it? First thing first guys, every day spend at least 3 hours on physics. for the next 10 days that's about 30 hours that you're going to be spending on physics now again you'll have to do the same for other subjects maybe if you feel a certain subject is easier you can reduce the time frame but i would suggest about 2 to 2 to 2 to 3 hours minimum every single day for the next 10 days that's about 20 to 30 hours for physics that you're going to be uh, you know allotting for that right so how do you utilize that 10 days how do you prepare yourself better the first thing first guys on this very first day that i'm going to talk about right you have to make sure that you read your ncert if you haven't done it yet i am betting my life on this guys you need to do it otherwise you will end up making some trivial mistake no matter how much well prepared you are please remember that cbs is going to ask all questions from ncert itself they are not going to go outside the textbook so it's important there is only one book to refer and if you haven't done that yet you should better start doing it right the first day 3 hours read both the chapters of light as well as human and colorful world it is not going to take a lot of time of you now of yours but make sure in that first day 3 hours you are reading these two chapters ncert is the key ncert i keep saying this ncert is your quran it is your bible it is your bhagavad gita mahabharat what is it called as ha huh? whatever it is whichever book whichever ritual that you know whichever ritual you guys uh, whichever uh, religion you follow it doesn't matter it is that right now ncert is the key if you do not know your ncert by now what are you doing it is important that you read your textbooks right guys that is the first thing that you should you should do 3 day 3 hours on that particular day again you can divide that 3 hours how you want you can do 1 hour uh, then take a break and then do 1 hour and then take a break and do 1 hour or you can do 1.5 hours and then 1.5 hours or you can do all 3 hours at once how you want to do it but make sure you read your textbook that is the first thing you must do everything without missing out anything second day 3 hours make sure you practice all the in text ncert questions i'm sure that all of you guys have already done it but if you haven't done it yet do it please do it guys because again the type of question that is going to be asked in your boards is going to be very similar to what you see in your in text questions and your exemplar questions because they are just going to change the values and put on the same questions there's no other thing that is going to that is that can appear in your boards there's not going to be like you know you turn on the page and it'll be like surprise that's not going to happen all right you have to make sure there is one book there's only one book right you just need to refer that that's all there's not there's nothing else to it you just need to focus on one book that's it you're good to go so please make sure you practice your in text 
questions from given in NCERT and exemplar questions also all the exemplar questions see in exemplar questions the steps are also given the solution is also given but still practice it it is important because time and again a lot of questions from exemplars have appeared in your boards right and remember guys even though you it is an mcq based question and before your seniors and all uh the uh you know the lucky and the unlucky bunches and all that those people had uh, you know subjective based subjective based questions right but it does not mean that they cannot convert those subjective questions to you know uh, objective questions they can easily do it they can easily convert those subjective questions to objective questions right so you have to make sure that you guys are practicing practicing your ncrt in in text questions and exemplar questions now moving on to day 3 so that's 6 hours so far first day ncrt both the chapters second day in text questions and exemplar questions day 3 you're going to go with the different types of mcq questions assertion reasoning type questions case study based questions and the normal mcqs you have to practice as many questions as you possibly can as many questions as you can you if you just go on google right now you you guys are experts in googling stuff you guys are experts in googling stuff each and every one of you guys are good at ex, you know googling stuff so all you have to do is guys guys just go to google and type cbse class 10th board exam sample papers you will find tons and tons of websites tons and tons of case study based questions if you just type uh, cbse tech class 10th case study based questions for physics you will find hundreds of websites download the papers and try and solve as many questions as you can without missing out anything it's important guys it is important that you get a good hang of what are the type of questions and how do you answer those questions as well i myself have done so many videos of assertion reasoning questions case study based questions and mcqs as well you can check those videos out in the meantime subscribe to the channel also it will help us a lot so yeah subscribe to the channel at the same time Go, go and check out those videos right i've done so many videos i'll be coming out more such videos of uh it is called as the as the mcq series so i've done lots of case study based questions lots of uh, assertion reasoning type questions both for light as well as human and colorful world so you guys can check that out as well there are a lot of amazing questions uh you know in store for you guys right so that's day 3 three more hours done and dusted day 4 right next day what do you do previous year question papers you cannot you cannot miss out this at all your previous year question papers are the key to your success i'll tell you that your pre take the last three question uh, last three years that's all 2019 2021 21 unfortunately the exam did not happen so you can go back to 2018 also if you want to 2020 you can take the sample papers and stuff but make sure you practice these previous year question papers day 4 should be only practicing previous year question papers once again i'm going to repeat this for all those who have forgotten it already first day ncrt 3 hours for that right second day you're going to go with ncrt exemplars and ncrt in text questions third day you're going to go with pre that is your uh, uh, you know uh, assertion reasoning type questions case study based questions and mcqs day 4 you're going to go with previous year question papers where you're going to solve the last three years question papers 2019 20 21 and if you want you can also add 2018 to that list as well but make sure you do this do not miss this step at all do not none of these steps that i'm telling you do not miss out none of these steps each and every one of them has been carefully thought out and carefully put in these slides right it's not just that i'm randomly randomly blurting out words all of this has been carefully thought out and carefully planned that is why i'm telling you this so make sure guys you practice your previous year question papers for the last 3 to 4 years right that is day 4 I am pretty sure you guys know where to find it. You'll find again. Just go to Google, guys. You can find so many things on Google. Why not this? Just go to Google. Type previous year question papers. You'll find every single website there are which are you know offering this for free of cost. So you can just download the PDF or take a screenshot of it. Take a print out if you have to. But make sure that you guys do it. Right? Day five. Right? The last day for preparations. What are you gonna do? Mock test. practice how do you do this mock test give yourself exactly 90 minutes exactly how long you get in your boards exactly 90 minutes solve the entire science paper entire science paper in that 90 minutes you need to know how much time you're wasting on a certain question and you need to know how to manage time better so yes in order we do that 
you need to practice mock tests you need to do as many mock tests as you can guys please make sure that you practice as many mock test papers as we as you possibly can please keep doing it the more you practice the better you get there's no other there's no shortcut to life right there's no shortcut uh, to uh, acing your examination you have to work hard you need to get onto the floor you need to uh, you know put your blood sweat everything into it only then you can make it work there is no shortcut to it all those people who th you who you think you know are getting easily 90% in class and all you think they don't do work they do they do they basically work smart but ultimately they are putting the effort in their own way you also have to start doing that you also have to start you have to start working smart but at the same time you also have to put in the you know a time and energy into it so working smart and hard goes hand in hand so you have to make sure that you're doing these mock tests and give yourself exactly 90 minutes not more than that not less than that you know put a timer in front of you sit uh, take a water bottle make sure that you're not going here and there if you can you can ask your siblings or your parents to stand guard as the invigilator so that you know they can keep an eye out on you so that you don't because in your examination you're not allowed to go uh, have some namkeen in between have some pop in between have some jalebi in between that is not possible right uh, have some samosa and all that is not possible so make sure you follow all the rules and regulations that is the given in your by the boards how how would you behave in an exam hall behave the same exact manner and try and solve these questions right guys so that is day five do not again miss out any of these five days right it's very 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 crucial right so now that the preparation is done now that you're kind of prepared let's go on to the sixth day now this is where your revision starts now what do you do in the next six days make sure you're giving exactly 2.5 days per chapter not five you have five days uh, in total so about 2.5 days per chapter so light you're going to give about two two and a half days or you can give up to three days for light and two days for a uh, human eye and colorful world whichever way you want all right so divide it equally or if you want you can give more time for light because there's a lot more content compared to human eye and colorful world so you can do three days for light three days for light with all the ray diagrams and numericals and whatnot and two days for you can give for human and I in colorful world so you can divide it like this again it's up to you it's not that i'm gonna you know uh like it's not like i'm gonna draw a line you have to walk on that line itself you guys can bend the line accordingly but it has to be in the right manner right so three days for light two days for human eye and colorful world you can divide it like that but make sure you're spending two days two sorry two hours per day every day for two hours for that next five days so that means that 10 hours you're going to be spending for revision alone for human and colorful world and light if you are able to spend 10 hours on these chapters guys that is more than enough now how do you revise again practice the previous equation papers do as many mock test papers as you can do, go back to your textbook if you get us if you if you're doing your mock test paper and you're getting something wrong go back to your textbook read that concept one more time and go back and do it one more time you have to correct yourself that is the best way to learn guys because if you don't correct yourself here's what's going to happen let's say you make a mistake and you ignore it and you're like okay i'll correct it in my examination here's what's going to happen in your exam also you'll end up making the same mistake Yes, you will repeat the same mistake one more time in your examination. I know it's hard to believe. You're like, oh, no, sir, I am smart. I'll do it now. It's going to happen. Doesn't matter what, no matter how smart you think you are, you will still end up making the same mistake in your examination. So it's a humble suggestion from my side, guys. Correct the mistakes wherever you see it. Go back to your textbook. Go through the concept one more time and correct it immediately. Make a mental note of it. It is important that you correct your mistakes. Only, see, fools repeat their mistakes. But smart people learn from their mistake and try to correct it. And I want every one of you guys to be smart. All right. I don't want any of you guys to repeat the same mistake and then regret that you should have done it better. You should have, you know, I should have, uh, you know, done this, I should have done that. This word, no, I should have. This regret is going to take you, it's never going to leave this regret that you have no it's never going to leave one day you might be just chilling uh, you know maybe in your 12th standard and then you'll suddenly realize i should have used my time better i'm telling you it's not going to leave that regret that you have no that is never going to leave you just think about it for a second you would have so many regrets in your life if you just give one second to that thought no you can see that this is something that it's always there it's always uh, it always remains fresh regrets right so i don't want any of you guys to regret I want every one of you guys to utilize the next 10 days and give your 100%. Every time you take out the textbook, every time you take out a notebook, 
you should only have this one thought in your mind i am going to give my 100% today every day that is all that matters guys that is all that matters giving your 100% every single day you wake up in the morning you tell yourself i'm going to give my 100% today that is going to change your life trust me when i say it trust me when i say this every single day you wake up in the morning you tell yourself i will give my 100% today that is what is going to change your attitude that is what is going to help you to achieve your goals because that is all that matters it's not about how how much you're doing stuff guys it's not it's never about the quantity it's never about the quantity it's about the quality you can study for 24 hours a day and still not understand a thing i have friends who have studied full night throughout the exam throughout before the day of the exam and who didn't even know the basic formula the next day so i'm telling you this it's not about the quantity it's not about how much you're doing it's not about whether you're spending 6 hours 7 hours 8 hours all of that doesn't matter your invigilator who's correcting the paper they don't care whether you study for 12 hours a day whether you study for 10 hours a day they don't care about that what do they care about is how you perform it's about the quality and not about the quantity so let me tell you this one more time guys you have to make sure you have to promise me pinky promise that you guys will give me 100% every single time let me know in the chat box i want everyone to put it down in the comment section in the chat box promise me that you'll give me 100% i want to see that i want to see how many of you guys will give you 100% because here's the thing guys you can't control how difficult the question paper is going to be you can't control who's going to correct your paper you can't control the weather you can't control how good you're feeling or whether you're going to be feeling good or not or whether you're going to be falling sick or not on that particular day none of this is under your control but what you can control is how you utilize the next 10 days so the next 10 days every time you wake up in the morning i want you guys to tell yourself i will give my 100% today and repeat it repeat it over and over again guys because the more you say something the more you start to believe just i'll just give you an example imagine there is a person right imagine there's a person who's trying to beat usain bolt's record now maybe physically there's a lot of limitation but just think for a second if from the day one he tells himself that i can't do it i can't do it usain bolt is the fastest man alive i can't do it he won't even come close to 12 seconds that 100 meters he won't even be able to do it in 12 seconds why because you are telling yourself that you can't do it so when you start telling yourself that you can't do it you will start to believe that you can't do it so you won't even give your 100% there so tell yourself that i can score 85% i can score 90% i can score 95% i can because every one of us are given two hands two legs one brain two eyes it's not like a topper is given extra set of hands right it's not like a topper is given three parts in the brain they also have one left one right itself nothing more you have to understand that there's there's nothing see you don't have to be great in order to start but in order to become great you have to start that's all i can say guys so start start giving your 100% every single day and trust me guys everything will fall in its way you just need to give your 100% mark my words on that all right guys so with that said i would say that never forget why you started this never forget why you want to score 90% why you want to score 100% in your examinations never ever forget that they say there's no never forget where you started from so never forget why you started studying why you started why you started pushing yourself so much you every one of us have that one moment where you felt like this is the reason why i want to score good so remember that and don't ever forget this remind yourself of that because it's important that you do because sometimes guys all of us no matter how good your willpower is we all tend to waver a little we all tend to get distracted once in a while we all tend to forget the actual reason why we started something all of us including me but it's important that you remind yourself of that right guys 
Now, before we end today's session, let me tell tell you also one more other thing, guys. If everything else fails, Vedantu is always here for you guys. We are always here for you guys. We are there to serve you guys. There's nothing else. The purpose of us, of our life, is to make sure that our future generation, that is you guys, are doing your very best. So, in order to help you guys achieve that goal, people. we have the term 1 crash course now this term 1 crash course again is for you guys for all the people out there who are looking for a revision plan who are looking for micro courses who are looking for a way to prepare better for your exam to understand what is the type of different questions because here guys in the vedantu platform you are going to be getting everything that you need your test tests test assignments you'll be getting exam preparations that is tips and tricks the entire syllabus of all six subjects english chemistry bio math social science all the six subjects with topic specific courses that is nothing but for example let's say that you are finding uh, you know refraction a little hard you can study that topic alone you don't have to sit through the entire session you can study that particular topic alone and get yourself get your doubts cleared and get better at that topic and with that guys let me tell you what are the advantages that you're getting from vedantu it is not just some some random online course that you're getting over here vedantu is a very 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 well structured organization which would help you to achieve that goal of yours so let me tell you what are the features first first of all guys every session is recorded so you can always watch the recording of every single session if you go to the upcoming sessions you can also check out whichever sessions you have in that particular day or in that particular month not only will you get it get a chance to do that you, while you're watching the replay guys you can see the way that the sessions are taken you can see that we generally start of the session with some fun like this is one such thing that i do or pa gotham style something that i really love one of the favorite gifs of all times i feel so again we always tend to have a you know lot of fun at the same time we also focus on our studies as well so you also tend to have fun and you also get to study with that you'll have quizzes in every single session which means that you don't have to worry about your mcqs everything would be covered right there and then you will have a chance to even talk to the teacher which is not a some which is not something which is possible on youtube right you can't really talk to the teacher but here you can actually get unmuted talk to the teacher you can even get uncammed as well you can actually see the teacher and the teacher would be able to see you and so it, it is not some you know it's not like youtube where you can just type your chats and send it but here you also get to talk to the teacher and get your doubts solved right there and then inside the class itself without having to wait for the class to get over we'll have fastest fingers list for every single quizzes so that you guys can get motivated and see how fast you have answered in comparison to the entire entire class we'll have dolls to celebrate your achievements you know we'll have we have so many fun activities over here doll we have drum rolls all of this again to you know to show that to show that we all appreciate you you can also have we also have stars for every single correct answer you get you'll be getting stars again a way to appreciate it because in mentimeter only the top 10 can be seen but here it's not the case guys everyone is appreciated does not matter in what position you are in everyone deserves appreciation i believe that every single person deserves appreciation and appreciation only makes a person better want to do better and that's exactly what we follow here and yes guys leaderboards for sure you'll also have leaderboards as well leaderboards is where you can see how well you prefer, performed in the class and how many points have you scored uh, throughout that particular session uh, you know answering the quiz and yes you will also have uh, this amazing opportunity to get your doubts solved inside the class itself let me just show you a small statistics guys look at this in this particular session 134 doubts were asked 134 doubts were asked and out of that 134 all the 134 doubts were solved inside the class itself because not only will i be present or will a master teacher be present but with the master teacher you'll also have someone called as a class teacher so you have an opportunity do not having to worry about your doubts not being solved your doubts will be solved inside the class right there and then itself and also even outside the class your vedantu's app the doubts app where you can get your doubts out even outside the session all you have to do is take a photo send the doubt it will be solved in the next couple of minutes so so much is what you are getting for a very very nominal price and not only that guys you can even download the notes 
of every single session. The entire PDF would be downloaded so you can go through the entire PDF, see for yourself whichever topic you've missed out and get those corrected as well. All of this for a very, very nominal price. Again, guys, unfortunately, for now, the, the, um, we are recording the video today, that is on 19th. Unfortunately, this is the last day where you're getting 50% off. I'm so sorry to say this, but yes, guys, you had an opportunity to get those courses for just 750 rupees. The basic price of this is around 1,400 rupees, which would be the case from when this video is coming out. But unfortunately for you guys, it's going to be 130 1,300. But yes, guys, you had an opportunity to get it for 50% off at just 750 rupees where the entire course would have been yours for just 750 rupees. But yes, guys, do not worry. Again, it's a very, very nominal price. Even if you think about it, 50% or not, it is still a very nominal price for six, all the six subjects with the doubts app, everything included at a very nominal price. If not, guys, you can also go for the term one and term two crash course also, both term one and term two included. Here also, you'll be getting a revision for term one. You'll be getting micro courses and all the things but yes, here you can try the one month trial. So one month trial basically is, so it's actually a 15 day trial. If you use my coupon code AME Pro, if you use my coupon code AME Pro, this is my coupon code guys, AME Pro. Okay, I'll just write it over here, AME Pro, this is my coupon code. If you use my coupon code AME Pro, you will get this 15 days to 30 days. It'll be extended to 30 days. So for a very nominal price, you can actually study for a whole 30 days with all the features that I just talked about, with assignments, with tests, with everything that I just talked about for a very, very, very nominal cost for the entire 15 day or the 30 day trial, I can call it as because that 15 days, if you use my coupon code, will be extended to 30 days. So that is also an amazing opportunity. And if you go for the long term session, that is basically until the end of term two, you want to do term two also. The price of that is 23,000 rupees, which is a lot of money. I understand that because I am also, I was also in a, you know, middle, in fact, I am from a middle class family. So 23,000 is a lot of money. But yes, guys, you also have the EMI option. So basically, you just have to pay around 1,917 rupees per month. That's it. 1,900 rupees for six subjects with the doubt app and everything is a very nominal cost. So you guys can actually check that out as well. That is including term two. So all of the topics with term one preparations, with term one revision and term two that is. So you guys can check that out as well. All of the link is right there guys. Again, the choice is yours. All I can say is this, do not have regrets in life. And yes, tell yourself you can do it. Right? Yes, you can. There's this, uh, there's this thing, you know, I can, I will watch me. So keep telling yourself that and all the very best guys. And by the way, this is the answer for the riddle. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys want to know the answer for the riddle. So what happened when a dinosaur uses a deodorant? The answer is it becomes X stink. Play of words. I know, right? The most brilliant riddle ever seen in the history of riddles. You guys can let me know how cool the riddle was in the comment section. I know, I appreciate all the comments. Thank you guys, thank you. You guys can put it down as the world's best, world's best riddle. I would put it up in the next session. World's best riddle, thank you. I would really appreciate it if you guys do. All right, let me see how many of you guys love this riddle. All right, so anyways guys, thanks a lot for joining today's session. Once again, do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and more importantly, all the very best for your boards. And like I told you, utilize these 10 day preparation plans. Once again, if you wanna refer to something again, go back to the video make sure you check it out, write it down and start following it religiously. All right. All the best. I'll catch you guys in the next session. Until the next time we meet, this is Zanup signing off for the day. Adios people and uh, Shao and Konishiva and all the other languages. Bye bye. Take care. See you soon.